Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to another session of Not Perfect Zen. Uh, very grateful to be doing a video. I really struggled with coming up for an idea for today. Uh, of course, there's a lot of news about the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. And um, I looked for some patterns that might have the name Queen in it. And actually, this is the only one that I found, and it's Queen Bee by Helen Williams. And it's a grid, but it's a really different grid. And that photo was from her website. And um, I did it on one of my previously colored tiles. This was done with uh, Lindy's Magicals. And I thought it was kind of fun how it came out. And it's, to me, one that you need to focus on. But um, I like to focus when I'm um, listening to either podcasts or books. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to use this uh, kind of a tan tile. It's paper that I cut myself. And uh, I went ahead and put the outline on here. This is four inches across by uh, four and a half. And I'm going to be using a pencil to start with because I already messed it up and erased it. <laughs> That's why I've got the background on here because I didn't do it right. Uh, the initial border. I'm going to be using uh, Micron 05 in the brown. I'm going to use a uh, pastel pencil that's uh, pastel chalk, kind of a maroon. I'm going to use the white chalk. I'll be using two different blending stumps, one for the white, one for the brown. Okay. So, um, I've never done a grid the way that Helen did this one, but we're going to make a diagonal across here, okay, and I've watched Maria do this. She will kind of make a line first and then make sure that it looks right before she actually puts the pin down. Okay, and then um, this is where I went wrong when I first started this. I put a mark about halfway and you could do this starting with pen if you want, but I'm glad I started this one in pencil because I got it wrong. <laughs> to begin with. Okay. So we're putting a square on there. Okay, so we started with the diagonals and then we put a square and then next she does a straight line across the center of these diamond shapes. Okay, so that's our grid. And just to show you again, that's what your grid should look like. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with my pen. I have enjoyed watching the tributes to Queen Elizabeth. She is the only queen that I've ever known 
as far as England goes. And I heard that for four fifths of the people in England or Great Britain, UK, she is the only monarch most people have known. Okay, so here goes my diagonal. If you feel more comfortable using a ruler, feel free to do it. And my fingers, I started this video and then I stopped because I did my grid wrong. And I had already mentioned this, so if I've already said it, forgive me, but uh, my fingers are not dirty. This is stain from a pecan that I tried to open for my granddaughter, and I had no idea that it was going to do that. Our neighbors have a pecan tree, and uh, she loves pecans, and she loves to collect them and then we were trying to see if that one might be ready to eat and it was not okay so there's the grid and like i said that's the first time i've ever done a grid that way so now what we're going to do is put these little almost like fescue in here, one at the top, and one down here in the bottom. And then we'll come down from this one. I'm going to try to make the distance in here about the same. But it's not, it's okay. So we're just doing these little loops. Okay, and where there would have been one here, we'll just do half of it and same thing over here All right and there would have been one coming up here and on this side <clears throat> excuse me And this is one where I did have to print the steps and keep them handy. It's not difficult. Once I got it going, then it wasn't bad. I have not tried it on this tan tile before now, so... Hopefully it's going to come out nice. Okay, so I think I have all of those that I need. And the next step, I'm going to start down here is we're gonna do a straight line from that corner to the tip of that, and then back to that line. And then we do one more in there that goes to that line and back down, okay? Up to there. 
and back down. This one. And down. Okay, so we're going to continue to do that. Let's just go ahead and start here. Up, back down to that point, and back down, and then we'll do the same thing here. My line's not exactly straight, and that's okay. So once you figure what's going on there, it's easy to get these filled in. Okay, this one, go to that tip, below, and then same thing over here. Yeah, I was really struggling with deciding what I wanted to try to teach this weekend and finally just decided to try something with a name related to Queen. And I actually liked working on this one. It was fun. I believe that Helen William passed away a couple of years ago. She was uh, very good at designing patterns. And uh, this step out, the link to her website is on the tanglepatterns.com site. And I will leave a link in the description and uh, I want to encourage you to look at some of her patterns. Very nice. And again, I don't always do uh, grid patterns, but uh, I enjoyed this one. It was different. And we're just doing straight lines from that center point to the top of our little fescue, not fescue, flux type shape. In one of my comments, for one of my videos, um, a lady told me one time that she was happy that my fingernails were already clean. So, <laughs> or always clean, I think is what she said. And so I'm always mindful of that before I start a video. <laughs> it's funny how things like that um stick in your mind. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is put another little fescue shape. Teardrop, I guess is what you could call it, inside each one of these. And this would be just part of one. And you can leave it like that, or you can fill them in. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. I think it gives it a little more drama. I 
think I've had this pinned for a while, so it's not working as great as I'd like it to, but it's okay. All right, so let's do that. Rest of these. And then I'm going to fill them in. All right, on these. It looks kind of complicated, but uh, once you figure it out on one or two of these, it's easy to do. Oops. All right, almost done. I'm hoping this will look really pretty when we add the pastel chalk. I'm curious if any of you have tried the Translucence Z uh, vellum tiles. I ordered some. Uh, I actually bought some vellum paper, but I didn't like it. So I ordered some of the tiles and I'm anxious to play with them. All right. So there's one more step. And now that we have those, then she shows adding a line that kind of points to these. So we're going to add, actually, I think it's just like halfway in each of these. Another line. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to position this so that it uh, feels right for my hand. And I, I think I do a better job with a straight line when I'm pulling it toward me. So we're just adding a line in the center of each of these. You could, I suppose, leave that open and 
put another pattern in there. You could add striping and these. Oops, I almost did that one wrong. Okay. All right, again, we're going from that same corner where all these started to about halfway on this. I just noticed my line didn't go all the way. That's a bad habit that I have of stopping before I get to the next line. But no mistakes, right? Right. Okay, so there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Now we can embellish. Um, what I did on this one was I took my black pen and I added hatching and then I used a purple um, pastel chalk pencil to add color. But I think on this one, I will just uh, put my pen aside and go ahead and get this pastel pencil. This one says it's dark sanguine. I guess that's how you say that. A Derwent pastel pencil. I have a art supply close by that where you can buy just individual pencils and pens. And so um, I took some of my... Uh, Renaissance tiles there and my um, the brown pencils or pens and found something that I thought would be fairly close and uh, I really like this one it's my favorite it's kind of a brownish maroon so for these first four lines that we did, I'm, that's where I'm putting. Okay, so the lines that go to the top, that's where I'm putting the pastel chalk from the corner. I'm just going out a little bit. I'm not trying to fill it in. I'm just using this for highlight. or drama, I guess, might be the better word for it. My favorite things are my tiles that are colored with watercolor and um, plain tiles where I add color with pastel pencils. Okay. And I have this one that's marked for brown. And if you ever have one that already has a color on it and you want to clean it, you can use a nail file and clean it if you wanted to use it for another color or if you just had too much on there. So, yeah, I'm just going to 
kind of soften that and pull it to the center, but I'm not going to go all the way to the center because that's where I want to add the white. This would look really pretty on a darker craft color paper, which is uh, like this. Happens to be a pizza box. I have, we don't eat pizza a lot. <laughs> we'll just say that, but some of the frozen pizza boxes have kind of a gray paper that I don't like. But there's some of these, like this one that I like a lot. Well, this one. This is a um, paper that I got from Dick Blick. I don't do that anymore. When I was first starting to teach classes, I uh, was selling some supplies to my students. I had local students who would come to my house. And um, with COVID and not teaching as many classes, I quit buying the big paper. It was 22 inches by 30 inches, and I saved a lot of money by doing that. All right, so now I'm going to take the white and just going to add some white highlight here in the center of each of these on the edges. doesn't show up on my paper quite as much as you see it on the screen, but I still like it. All right, so did I miss any? Just gonna add a little bit more here. And then this is my white blending stump. And I'm just gonna push it towards those other colors that I have on there. All right. I don't know that there's anything else that I need to do on this. I'm going to try to fill these in a little bit better. Round it a little bit more on a couple of these. 
All right, there you go. That was Queen Bee by Helen Williams. I think I'm going to put my chop down here. Don't forget to uh, just hold your tile out at arm's length. If you're not sure that you like it, come back later and look at it again or add a few more embellishments. You know, you could just play the game, what if, that I've talked about before. Or what if I added this or what if I added that? And uh, see what you think. It's just paper and it's pen. Just be creative and love your own work. Just enjoy it. And uh, again, this is Queen Bee by Helen Williams, and I'm doing this in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. May she rest in peace. Have a great week coming up, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, come back again. Thank you. Bye.